Kiss on a 543 and 1340 with hip-hop and R&B lives day party with your favorite DJ, DJ D. Sewell. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news now. It is time for... D. Sewell, what the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we had to start with a crazy story. Rich homie Quan was big mad yesterday. DJ Drummer recently dropped a project. Rich homie Quan thought he was on a song that had Gucci Mane, Lil Wayne. Roddy Rich on that thing. He looking forward to it. He hit play on that song. Rich Homie Kwan is not on that thing. He was mad, y'all. He was going off yesterday. And y'all, then he had heard that Roddy Rich was the reason he was not on the song. So he went off even more. He said he has a better catalog than Roddy Rich. He wanted to put up money against Roddy Rich in a versus battle. Well, y'all, long story short, ended up here and Roddy Rich got on the phone, smoothed things out, and uh, Rich Homie Quan ended up apologizing online and basically looked like the damn fool yesterday. That's what he looked like yesterday. <laughs> y'all, in other news, big shout out to Lizzo. She was in the latest episode of the hit show, The Mandalorian. Y'all, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but it was a star-studded show. She's in the episode, Jack Black's in the episode, and Christopher Lloyd from the 80s movie Back to the Future, he's in the episode as well. Uh, she joked that she manifested the role because she dressed as a character Character from the Mandalorian Grogu last year for Halloween. Shout out to Lizzo. Y'all moving on. Tyler the Creator reaches another milestone. His album, Call Me If You Get Lost, was 2022's best selling hip hop album on vinyl in the world. Big shout out to Tyler the Creator. Uh, that album dropped in 2021. It went number one and it also won Tyler the Creator his second Grammy best album after his 2022 album, Igor. Tyler the Creator is winning. And y'all remember he dropped a deluxe version of that project last Friday. I think he added like eight songs on that thing. Dog Tooth is really, really good too. Y'all moving on. Uh, we are talking about Amine and K Trinata. They are teaming up. I know an unlikely combination, but they're going to drop a joint project called K Tramine. Uh, neither have released a project since 2021. I don't know, y'all. Amina, he was hot when he dropped his single Caroline in 2016. This is the year 2023. Y'all, in other news, Tyrese, he confirms a TGT album. That is Tyrese, Genuine, and Tank. Uh, they have not released a project since 2013. The name of that project was Three Kings. And Tyrese was doing an interview on Tank and Jay Valentine's podcast. And Tyrese made that announcement. Tank told Tyrese, we probably should wait on Genuine. <laughs> to make this announcement. <laughs> y'all, Tyrese, that might be wild, y'all. Last but not least, is Tyler Perry buying BET. Well, y'all, we heard that Diddy had put his name in the hat, and we had rumors about Tyler Perry uh, bidding to buy BET. Well, he said the rumors are true, and he's trying to buy as much of BET that he can, and he also said it's very cool that two other black men besides himself are trying to buy BET and have the ability to buy BET. And uh, lastly, he said it's going to be dope and it will be black owned when whoever buys it. So big shout out to Tyler Perry. Now that's what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp right here on Kids 105.3, 1340.